Ever wanted to be a time-traveling agent sent back to alter the past and ensure that the timeline is corrected before all of reality breaks? Sounds cool, right? I'm sure this game will be absolutely fire! Welcome to Eternal Threads, a story-based game focused on time travel, a creepy house, and changing the decisions of six idiot- <coughs> six people to prevent them from burning in a house fire. You'll get to enjoy watching the house change around you as you alter the past in this ever-evolving 6-10 to 10 hour walking simulator. Calm down, Ben, you're ruining the surprise. Let it be known that this game is absolutely not for children, or possibly anyone else for that matter. This is a time travel based game. Long story short, humanity figured out time travel, then proceeded to accidentally screw up the past, we broke the world, which messed up the future, so now we're time traveling again so we can intentionally mess with the past to fix the future which may or may not delete us from existence. Isn't time travel fun? Be worse for T3. You've got two options for how you choose to experiment with this game's story. Normal mode and abridged mode. There are a lot of events and choices in the game and abridged mode just removes a bunch of them to make the experience faster. That being said, there are multiple endings based on the decisions you make, which means you're not actually able to get all of the endings without playing on normal mode. So of course, like the good gamer I am, obviously Obviously, I picked the abridged mode. Oh, and when I said multiple endings, that was generous. Here's the summary of our goals. There have been six erroneous fatalities, wonderful way to put that control, that have happened in the past that weren't meant to happen, and we are tasked with fixing that. With that being the plan, we begin our epic journey to the past. Boy, this is going to be exciting. This is not how I thought this is. Now, if you pay attention, the more choices you go through, the more changes will occur around the house. Quick example without any major spoilers, depending on the choices you change, the bike will end up moving to another location because it's been given to another character. Since this is an exclusively story-driven game, I suppose it's time to dive into it. There are moments where, in my eyes, it felt like there were no good options. A choice I changed made everyone unhappy, drunk, and conveniently not KO'd at the bottom of the stairs. But then I remembered something. While I am experiencing the story, the story of six other people, my only goal is to save their lives. That's it. Whatever choices I change, the only thing that matters for my part in the story isn't whether or not Tom gets whatever he wants during his frequent bouts of inebriation, but instead it's, hey, you still alive? Anyway, I managed to save them all from death, ended the game, and, huh. That's odd. I completed the game, and now it says my save is on normal, not abridged. Surprise! That's intentional. Turns out there is very little reason for completing the game on anything but abridged, as after that, you can always just reload your save and all the new information from normal mode will be available to you. Just like how you can know all about my latest videos when you subscribe. Hey, that's very good! Here's my personal take. The most interesting character and story in the game is I. 43, a newly qualified, time-fixing, life-saving guy from the future. His job is to sift through history, identify errors, and solve them. I can't lie, I was expecting something entirely different, and what I got wasn't as good as what I was expecting. This game is a walking simulator. The best moments for me had nothing to do with the actual story, which felt drawn out and without a doubt very hypersexualized, but when I'm walking around the house, still flooded with smoke, burns everywhere you look, markers on the floor, and beds, signaling individuals who couldn't escape. And when a picture falls off a wall? I'm not a horror guy, but man, that got me, and I loved it. And it had absolutely nothing to do with the main purpose of the story. And to actually beat the game, eventually I ended up spending most of my time sitting on the time map, reselecting options to see how many people I could keep from dying in that choice. So what was it I wanted this game to be? Well, not to brag, but I think a far better use of the beautifully crafted space we wander around for hours on end would not be to save people by changing their consistently erroneous decisions to ones that sometimes feel even worse, but instead turn it into a good ol' whodunit. 
Not a choice-solving puzzle, but a murder mystery. Your objective could be to solve a previously unsolved crime by piecing together evidence using the exact same tech, the same house, even some of the same scenario, but turn it into a thriller mystery? That'd be a story I'd love to walk around that creepy house for. Far better than learning about whether or not Tom can keep it in his pants. So, is this game good? Uh... Yes, and see, I can't get the environment and the occasional small events that caught me off guard while simply exploring out of my head. The entire game was contained in one small house, but the tension that place could build early on was excellent. It's just that I found the rest of the game to be... Eh. A fascinating concept built in a tense environment that felt wasted on a bunch of selfish young kidults whose only thoughts seemed to revolve around dropping their pants. Except for Ian's story, that was a pretty decent side story. That also seems to have very little to do with whether or not he lived. Of course, I can't complain too much. I got the game from free on Epic while it was available. What do you guys think about this time of game? Did you enjoy it and found yourself on Team Tom? Or were you fascinated by 43 and hope his next mission is more entertaining. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this little part of your day. I'm your benefactor, and I pray you have a wonderful day. Please play second signal booster.